at the risk of trivializing a rich and varied body of poems that set before themselves the task of holding up a mirror to the moving and universally human experience of saying goodbye. I want to begin by quoting in its brief entirety the duet that Groucho Marx sang for the first time opposite Margaret Dumont, a.k.a. the whimsically redoubtable Mrs. Rittenhouse in the Marx Brothers' second film, Animal Crackers. In the scene, Groucho was Captain Spaulding with his trademark swallowtail coat incongruously paired with a white pit helmet, dances gleefully in front of the partygoers gathered in his honor. When his legs and arms aren't akimbo, he looks very much the skater gliding along a shelf of rapidly melting ice. <laughs> this is what he sings. Hello, I must be going. I cannot stay, I came to say, I must be going. I'm glad I came, but just the same, I must be going. <laughs> Margaret Dumont. For my sake you must stay, for if you go away, you'll spoil this party I am throwing. <laughs> I'll stay a week or two, I'll stay the summer through, but I'm telling you, I must be going. <laughs> Written by lyricists Burke Kalmar and Harry Ruby, especially for Groucho, Hello, I Must Be Going quickly became a lifelong theme song for comedy's answer to Tristan Sara. Groucho's lightning wordplay and absurdist shtick saw him through a largely brief but legendary film career with his progressively disappearing troop of brothers, Gummo, Zeppo, Chico, and Harpo. A wildly off-color stint as host of the 50s game show, You Bet Your Life, and the gradually diminishing regular, and the gradually diminishing regular on variety hours, specials, and late night talk shows through the 60s and 70s until he died in 1977 at the age of 86. For one who was always going, it took him a long time to leave. <laughs> and he certainly appeared to enjoy the party he never came to, or was it the party he never left, or the one he kept leaving whenever he showed up on his way out. <laughs> For all the data is foolery in Hello, I Must Be Going, there is, I think, a rather subtly realized interfusion, to borrow a word from Wordsworth, between the experience of arrival and the experience of departure. Like a deeply enwound double knot or a Janus face, the two become very nearly the same thing. Or as T.S. Eliot muses in the four quartets, in my end, beginning is my end, and again, in my end is my beginning. Or as he still more memorably announces at the end of Little Gidding, we shall not cease from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. Admittedly, it is hard to reconcile two artists as widely divergent in tone and medium as Julius Groucho Marx and Thomas Stern's Tsetse Eliot, capturing the same paradoxical convergence of departure and arrival as though taken together, whether flung away or whirled back, saying hello and saying farewell constituted a single parabolic motion or perhaps more strangely, assume the form of what physicists call a Kalibi Yao shape, uh, a multi-dimensional multi space, a manifold that can be curled or folded into a single point. <laughs> <laughs>